Now, former Speaker of the House, Sky News contributor. She runs a Thursday night very well, none other than the great Bromwood Bishop. How are you, mate? Fantastic. A lady who well and truly has had her fair share of cracker nights after working in the Territory for a bloody long time is Claire March, uh, who is, of course, at Hawker Britain. She joins us now from Melbourne. Do you have any great cracker night memories from your time in the NT? Oh, just only that I survived. <laughs> I, I remember being... I was in a pub and one was, you know, set off in the pub. I, I sort of thought it might be time for me to call it a night after that. It, it is incredibly dangerous up there. It's a wonder that it's still, it's still allowed. I, I'm... I mean, it's a, it takes a very brave um, territory government to start a conversation about um, outlawing Krakenite, but Good. Um, it, 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 yeah, there's no doubt there's some carnage. Well, we will be there to uh, have our own version of it safely and oh and &E, of course. Jeez, the briefing I got from the lawyers today. <laughs> Senator David Lionhelm, who uh, was letting off his own bangers today in the Senate, and we'll get to that in a second, but uh, you'd love the idea of a compulsory national Kraken night, wouldn't you? You betcha. I, I, my memories of blowing up letterboxes and all kinds of stuff, uh, you know, bring it on. I love it. <laughs> and Senator Jane Hume, if, if your kids were involved in anything like Cracker Night, you'd be very disappointed if they were blowing up the neighbour's letterboxes. If you want to blow stuff up, come to Canberra. Every night's Cracker Night in the Senate. <laughs> It is too. All right. Now, guys, there's lots to debate, but Senator Lionhelm, you're the news, so let's get to you first. What happened in the Senate today? What happened between you and Sarah Hansen-Young? What are you willing to acknowledge, apologise for, correct? What happened? Well, there was a motion by uh, Fraser Anning uh, to uh, uh, calling on the, uh, the government to approve uh, non-lethal means of self-defence for women, in particular, uh, tasers and pepper sprays and so forth. In the context of that, uh, Janet Rice from Victoria made a statement which was to the effect of... Um, if only men would stop uh, doing things to men, uh, women, none of it would be necessary. And Sarah is just across the aisle from me and called out words to the effect of, uh, yeah, they should stop raping women or, or something to that. I, I've tried to remember the precise words and I can't, but it's along those lines. So um, I responded to her. She uh, didn't like my response. When the uh, division was over, she came over to me and, uh, and uh, called me a creep and uh, I told her to go and make love in another place, and, um, and then she uh, decided that was all really bad. So she's got up there and said, you know, that you were you're sexist, misogynist, all the best of it here. In fact, can we actually play what, uh, what the, the, the hyphen had to say today? Have a look at this. Earlier today, during the motion relating to violence against women, Senator Lane held yelled an offensive and sexist slur at me across the chamber. After the vote on the motion was complete, I walked over to the senator and confronted him directly. I asked whether I had heard him correctly. He confirmed that he had yelled, you should stop shagging men, Sarah. Shocked, I told him that he was a creep. His reply was to tell me to F dot 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 off. F dot 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 off. I don't know what you said. I'd, I'd flip. Perhaps. No. Um, but, Senator, um, what about since? Have, do, do you have to withdraw, apologise, clarify? What, what, what happens now? <laughs> no, um, I, I, you, you, you'd know me better than to ask that, I would hope, Paul. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just called the no. natural follow-up. <laughs> OK, uh, right. Uh, well, no, no, no chance of that. No, but, uh, no there won't be any uh, backing off or apologising. Yeah, uh, uh, but... the, the time to complain for Senator Heisen was when it happened and asked for withdrawal. It's clearly unparliamentary language. Of course. So, uh, but the time has passed. She oh. didn't do that, did she? All right, I mean, Jane... It wasn't on know. Hansard, though. It wasn't, none of it was recorded on Hansard. So, you know, there's a limit to where you put your own parliamentary language. I, I agree. Perhaps, perhaps that a line of choice of expression could have been slightly more considered. Uh, that said, it was, um, it was quite a moment. And, look, there's no room for snowflakes in the but Senate chamber. We're all tough as old boots. I think that we could take <laughs> something like that. But, Jane, you know why it isn't in Hansard. It is not in Hansard because she didn't stand up and ask for it to be withdrawn. If she'd done that, it would have been in Hansard. See, I love, I, right. 